do the oh, same geez. thing every day. I got all these people on the teletop machine. Y'all not streaming? Oh, well, we need to talk. Hundreds of people <laughs> messaging us. Where are you guys? Well, actually, it's just one. <laughs> but we love you. Yeah. We love you, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's that, Pud? Oh, we got a caller. We'll Call put them in. on. Let's see what they say. What, what are they complaining about? Hold on. Why don't we take a break? Let them figure it out. And... Actually, no. Put well, them on let's now. Let's go ahead and put them on now. Actually, no. Let's put them on now. <laughs> <laughs> It's so much fun. Oh, you going to put him on or not put, put him on? Don't put him on yet. <laughs> I'm lost, man. I'm Is lost. he on or not on? Not on yet. Okay, let's take a break. We want to thank more insurance services. We appreciate them bringing the show. And we have got a live caller. We'll be right back just right after this and see what they got on their mind. Now with more news for Western North Carolina and North Georgia, I'm Jeff Batten. The Cherokee County Sheriff's Office is reporting the arrests of two local women and a Metro Atlanta man after more than 240 grams of meth were found in their vehicle in Peachtree last Wednesday. Tara Silver of Murphy was denied bond, and Jill Cohn of Murphy is being held on a $600,000 bond for several trafficking charges. The press release says the search produced 243 grams of meth, 24 grams of fentanyl, along with crack cocaine and Xanax bars. A handgun and cash were also confiscated. Sheriff Dustin Smith tells WJRB that the women are well known to investigators. Quote, it was a large one, but with working long-term cases, this is not unusual anymore, unfortunately, unquote. The Union County Sheriff's Office is telling WJRB that a local male's attempted suicide fortunately was unsuccessful Friday evening. Major Sean Dyer says the man did graze himself with a single shot outside his home and was taken to a local hospital for a mental evaluation. There was heavy law enforcement responding to the scene about five miles up 129 from 515. No one was injured. And the recent cold snap has put a small crimp in the Lake Chatug parrot feather eradication effort. Callie Moore with the environmental group Mountain True tells WJRB that the plants aren't as far along as expected, and it'll be another two to three weeks before the cleanup gets started. Please download the free WJRB app. For Pat Malone and Harry Bond, I'm Jeff Batten. Our mountain roads are busier than ever, which has led to more accidents. Unfortunately, insurance companies are not in the business of being fair. They're in the business of making money. I'm Daniel Duello, and I know because I used to train insurance adjusters on exactly how to do this. Now the Duello Law Firm in North Georgia works to ensure that you're treated fairly. For a free consultation, find us at duellolaw.com. That's D-U-E-L-L-O law.com. Whether you need a cart to ride around the campground, a neighborhood cruiser, or a utility vehicle for the yard, North Georgia Golf Carts has you covered. Our family-owned company of almost 20 years offers a full-service department for all major brands, a complete line of parts and accessories, pickup and delivery service, and a friendly, knowledgeable staff. North Georgia Golf Carts is here to make your life easier. Call 706-896-8835 or stop by at 3850 Highway 76. Here at North Georgia Golf Carts, our aim is to keep you rolling. When it comes to metalwork in Hayesville, trust TB Fabrications. Our professional welders are your solution for gates, handrails, boat dock repairs, and even pontoon repair. With over a decade of welding experience, we're your reliable choice whether we come to you or you visit our shop. That's right, we are completely mobile and ready to come to your location to make welding repairs to structures, handrails, heavy equipment, gates, you name it. Search TB Fabrications on Facebook or call us at 706-897-8930 today. What can you do with a library card? Visit mountainlibrary.com slash card to find out today. Mountain Regional Library System has branches in Fannin, Towns, and Union Counties. Stop by our Union County branch on April 15th from 10 to 3 for our open house to learn more about the services we offer. You can see assistive devices for the vision impaired. Learn about ebook resources like Libby and free streaming service Canopy. See all the passes for free or reduced admission to museums and places around Georgia. You've saved the date for that big event, a family or class reunion, a wedding, a school event. But have you booked a date yet for rejuvenation? At Sentinel Plastic Surgery, they can erase those lines between your brows, plump the lips and furrows between your nose and mouth. You know, turn that mirror reflection into someone fabulous. It's time to save a date to come in to Sentinel Plastic Surgery. Facial, Botox, fillers? Call 706-439-6486 or sentinelplastic.com. Life's biggest moments call for unique and beautiful gifts. Let Davis Jewelers take away all the worry and indecision with a beautiful pendant 
ring, necklace, or earrings. We've got a huge selection of unique pieces to make every special moment become an oh wow moment. Our experts at Davis Jewelry want to help you find the perfect piece for birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, and engagements, or just because. Find us at 417 Blue Ridge Street in Blairsville or davisjewelry.jewelershowcase.com. The Morning Dish. At the beginning of a new week, people see things differently, like why they're locked into their monster insurance carrier and paying higher premiums than their next-door neighbor. If that's you, you need to speak with more insurance services, an independent agency in Hayesville, Blairsville, and Hiawassee. All righty, we're back with you, and I think Putin has got John Nutt popped through here. We got John on? Uh, we do. John, what are you doing this morning? Pouring the concrete again, man. I tell you, you got a hard job. Do you ever, do you ever have like the mob call you and ask you to add a little bit of something to the concrete mix? A little bit of people in the mix, maybe. <laughs> no, no, they've never done that. Not around here, anyway. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah they will now. <laughs> so, how much would something like that cost? I just ask him for a friend. Uh, probably one hundred eighty dollars a yard. Oh, okay, okay. There you go. Yeah, there you go. So, what you got on your mind this morning? Hey, uh, I did get somebody asked to make a special pair of shoes for you one day, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I looked it up. It said the Simpson trial came in the wake of the 1992 acquittal of police officers and the beating of Rodney King. Rodney, Rodney King was before OJ. Yeah, that's what I thought, Pat. Now, who who owes uh, who an apology? Geez. Wrong again. That's what you get when you get a communist on the show. I'm wrong again. Well, I've got back up here, man. I know. Yeah. I know. I apologize. I was obviously wrong. wrong. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. I'm obviously wrong. Yeah. So it was Rodney King. Yes. I thought I would stick up for you. I, I think appreciate it. Was it. Only him and that Dennis, um, Reginald Dennis or something, were the only two people that got um, involved in that stuff. I don't know. So let's see here. The, I think the connection between OJ and Rodney King is OJ started out with millions and Rodney King ended up with millions. Is that kind of what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah pretty good. much. Yeah. All right, man. We appreciate it, man. Keep bringing in the concrete. Yes, sir. I will do it. All right. Thank you. Bye. I wonder, you know, you, you, you like racing, you know, if you win on Sunday, you sell on Monday. I wonder how many Broncos that uh, OJ Simpson actually sold. <laughs> White ones, huh? Yeah. It's like the famous Bronco. I mean, it's more famous than, than the General Lee, you know? Yeah. Yeah. They actually, somebody, they had a thing on where somebody actually bought that thing and then sold it. It didn't bring a whole lot of money, but I bet it's worth a lot now. I would guess. If you're one of those collectors, huh? Yeah. Anyway, folks, over the weekend, you've seen your tax money at work. I'm guaranteeing to you that. Tax money at work. Hundreds, hundreds of bombs shot at Israel with your tax money. How how does that make you feel? And then your tax money shot them down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should, we have, yeah, that's, uh, what is that? That's like, that's helping the economy, right, Pat? How did, how did uh, yeah. U.S. tax money, <laughs> how did U.S. tax money pay for uh, uh, Israel or uh, Iran to send the missiles? You're so stupid. <laughs> I know. Well, explain it to me. I have no idea. Well, you what see, you're Biden and all of them, they sent him all that money of ours. The first yeah. thing you type in oh. Biden Biden yeah. allows Iran to access another $10 billion amid oh. Gaza war. Yeah, they use that for what they use that for. They use that to research so, uh, uh, well, genders. Whose money was that that they were accessing? It, 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 it was, it uh, doesn't matter whose it is. So it's like, should we allow them to have their money so they can blow everybody up? <laughs> yeah, let's just give it to them. <laughs> well, it was theirs anyway, so. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, let them have it. Let them have it. Right? Well, if it was your money, would you want to have it? Well, you know, <laughs> I'm sure I would. Okay. But if I was so going to blow somebody as, up, I don't think I should get it, do you? Well, you you're blowing up fish regularly when you go fishing, right? Well, not regularly. Yeah, <laughs> just on occasion. So I guess it's odd if they just blow people up on occasion. What you what you saw was a test to make sure our weapon systems work. Oh, I'm just glad Trump's not in there, man, or else we'd have like World War Three. Let me tell you man. something. Honestly, I seen a thing on here where actually Biden was blaming. Let's see where it is. Oh, I guarantee you'd blame blaming Trump for, Trump for this. 
<laughs> I've got it I here somewhere. It, I should have brought it up. Yeah, I should have brought it up. But Trump, they're actually blaming Trump. You don't have to prove it to me. I mean, Biden's looking for so- anything to justify what he does, and I'm, I'm not a big uh, fan. And we I got we got a recording of it right here, man. You got me on there, Lee. Beer yeah. brewed here. <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer. It is fine. Do you know, oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lake. That uh, I don't think it's Biden. I think it's his people that's trying to make him hold him up and keep him propped up on his little perch. That's trying to figure out which way do we go, George? Which way do we go, George? Week, weekend at Bernie's. Honestly, I mean, that's kind of where we're at with this. And I mean, this is pretty yeah. serious, though. I don't know what Israel's planning on doing, but, you know, I don't know. I think it's over. You think it's over? Yeah, I don't think Israel's going to do anything, uh, at least not directly to Iran. I still think Israel will continue to go after Hamas. Well, I don't think they're going to retaliate against uh, Iran. I would. What did what did Iran do? They shot a bunch of missiles down, and and Israel uh, killed them all, right? All but one. When there's a little girl got hurt. Yeah. What? Oh well, it don't matter. Just a little girl who cares. No, it, it <laughs> matter. It matters. I don't know, man. I mean, what did Iran do? How many missiles did they shoot? Three hundred. Oh yeah, what's three hundred missiles? Oh, ain't no big deal. Just three hundred missiles, a few drones with some nukes on it. Half of oh, what they do? Them, <laughs> half of them failed at launch. I don't give a rip. Yep. I mean, honestly, you you're doing the eye for an eye, right? That's what it says in the Bible. Uh, that's what I was gonna say. Yep, eye yeah. for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Send them up here, yeah. and I'll I'll settle the score. Doesn't it also say something about blessed are the peacekeepers? That's what we're doing. We're keeping the peace. (laughs) By extracting an eye for an eye. That's good. That's good. That's what they say. What about the song about a big stick? I don't remember how that goes exactly. That's not in the Bible. That was Teddy Roosevelt. (laughs) It is. It's in the chapter of parentheses. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. It's in the footnotes, right? As 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 demonstrated by Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, yeah. Now you talking? I don't know, man. I guess if I was over there, I would. Uh, I'd send me some of them uh, secret agents over there. You know, like Double uh, O Seven. Take these guys. Uh-huh. Out. Yeah, take these guys out. Wouldn't you think? You mean, you mean like the the uh, special forces that we have inside Iran, right? Well, here's the thing, yeah. though. Okay, think about this. Here we yeah. got. Okay, if this thing escalates. And and we actually get involved in this, and we start getting. Oh, no, we're already involved. Like okay, that. well, okay, we're involved. How many thousands have come across our border that are on that side that we do not know about that oh, has wow. set up camp in America, in America, and just waiting for the go word? And <clears throat> you know, you think, okay, it's overseas and all that. It's not. It's here. I feel like it's here, and they're here. Yep. They're not pro-American. They're pro-anti-American. They've come across the border illegally. They've set up camps all over the place. I mean, look at that uh, AOC wait, and wait her a camp. Wait there. a minute. You're, you're making big suppositions there. I'm not making any kind of supp- suppositions. I'm making facts. Well, what is what is a supposition, though, Pat? What, what, what supposition did he just make? That, that, that these are, are Iranian plants that are going to rise up against us. If not necessarily we get Iranian. I mean, it just... Muslim terrorists. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. And you don't believe that? Well, I don't see any proof of it. Well, I mean, not not that you should really trust anything that the Biden administration so what says, about- but they say that, that they are here. I mean, they say we have no idea who's here, and they're, they're catching known terrorists all the time, but they don't know how many are getting through. Okay, what is the senator, whatever it is, up from, uh, from uh, where all the cars are made, Detroit? What's her name that's in there? AOC and what's the other gal? Uh, Rashid Talab. Yeah, Talib. Her whole her whole people that back her are Muslim, are they not? Well, okay, then then uh, the whole darn city of of Dearborn, where they're already cit- citizens, right? I mean, so what's a few more illegals? Well, they're up there hollering death to America. I mean, is that not something that would strike you as odd? What are you going to do about that? That's freedom of, of 
speech. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you're right. But that's a good idea to say, okay, guys, we need to uh, we need to do something here. We got a problem. We got we got so a what, whole city. Gonna, we got you, a whole city hollering you, death to America. Uh, we got a problem. You're gonna bomb. You're gonna bomb Dearborn now. Is that freedom of speech though, Pat? I thought I thought that wasn't freedom of speech. That's I thought, hate. I, I thought you couldn't like threaten people and stuff. You and Harry talk about that all the time. Death you to America. You can't say what certain you, things. That's hate speech. You can't it, say certain things, but isn't you can death to America? Voice your. Isn't that's that your hate, opinion. Isn't that hate speech though? I don't believe in hate speech. What do you mean no, you don't, I don't believe need, in hate I speech? I don't either, but I'm saying, like, you know, there's certain things that you can't say. I, why? It, did anybody get arrested for saying death to America? No, but Trump did. I didn't, for yeah, saying, I, God, God bless America. America. He's, <laughs> 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 don't say God bless America. They even said. Are you, are you ADD? Uh, am I, okay, start calling people names. I'm, no, I'm asking if you've got a medical condition that causes your brain to flip into the next subject when we're on one. Keep up, and, man. And then you, Keep up. Huh? Keep up. Keep okay. up. Okay, yep. I'll try. Keep up. Try. I don't know. I do know. I keep saying I don't know. I do know. I feel like there's a lot of folks over here that hate our guts, and they're just waiting for the hammer you, to drop, and then we're going to have I know that by people Back coming up. over and saying, we hate your guts. We hate your guts. Do you guts. know that? What? Do you feel that, or do you know that? I know that. Okay, and what are the facts? How do you know that? Well, we got people chanting death to America all over the United States of board. America. We've had people protesting Pro against Hama, America What's that for called? Hamas? Years. Hamas? Not Hamas. That's what you dip your chips in, ain't it? Mm-hmm. What's, the, what's the other stuff? <laughs> what? Like pita Hamas. chips in there? Pita chips and oh, Hamas. Man, Not good. death to Hamas. Ooh, I'm hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> Hamas. Hamas and Hamas. Which one is which? Which one is which? Which one do you dip your chip in? The Hamases or the Hamas? Anyway. Yeah, I know that'd be bad. Like you go, just get out of the dentist, and you're you got kind of a weird accent. You go and we go going to a store. Where's the Hamas? Where's the Hamas? <laughs> Everybody get down. <laughs> but I do think that's a problem. And then uh, you know, I think a terrorist attack coming to America is so much easier now because they're here. They're here. So what do you? I mean, I think what is it to say? An ounce of prevention, pre- prevention is worth a pound of cure. Right. What? An ounce of per, per, prevention, I'll get it out here in a minute, is worth a pound okay. of cure. Is that right? Is that a saying like that? Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. That's what well, I'm what thinking. Is that, what does that mean? That means let's ship them folks back. Let's get these containers and this container ship. Let's load them all in them container ships and send them back. Okay. What do you think? If we, if we don't know where they are or who they are. We do. do They're standing in the streets hollering death to America. I can point them out to you, man. I mean, it's like, okay, that one goes, this one goes, this one goes. Was there some kind of a protest in Towns County over the weekend that I don't know about? No, we got that planned a couple of weeks from now, but we can't get nobody to make the pimento cheese sandwich. Hey, wait a minute. You know, that's funny. Okay, my brain is going again, but anyway. My daughter actually went to the, uh, to the, uh, uh, what's that big thing down in Augusta where they play golf and everybody shows up there? The Masters? Yeah, she went to the Masters. Good. That was pretty cool. Yeah. But guess what? Wait a minute. What? What? Wait a minute, what? No, no, no. You said that was pretty cool. I wondered how you knew it was pretty cool. Well, I could sing pictures. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, all right. And do you know what the main treat at the Masters is? The main treat at the Masters that everybody wanted. Pimento sandwiches for a buck and a half. What else? Bud Light. <laughs> what? Moon Pies. That really? was the biggest seller. Moon Pies. Yes, they sponsor the. Uh, they have sold Moon Pies down there for years at the Masters, and I actually got one that said it's made exclusively exclusively for the Masters. So I have got a, a high. I don't know if they're any better. Reckon the ones that go down to the Masters are better than the ones that we get in the store. I'm afraid to open. Yeah, they're the they're the ones for the elitist. Yeah. Anyway, I, I talked to you. Uh, I talked to my buddy, the Moon Pie guy. He's gonna find out the history on all that, how that all started down there. Did y'all watch the Masters? I did. Yeah, yeah. man. Me too. I just glued to the TV the whole time. Yeah, I was <laughs> so excited, man. You know, it's pretty cool though, and we got to get to a break. But you know, they got the two bridges, the rock bridges. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. My great grandfather actually laid the rock on them. I always thought Ooh. that. 
Huh? Author Drake? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, ain't it? Yep, actually laid the rock on them. So we're trying to get set up where we can take, go down there and check them out. Because they don't let anybody in down there. I throwed out Packy's that's... name. <laughs> yeah, I'll throw that out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a private club, for God's sake. I just want to go to the bridge. I don't care about nothing else. I they, don't, they don't care where you want to go. You ain't getting in. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah. Anyway, we got to get to a break. Somebody give us a call. We want to know what's on your mind. 706-379-9770. We want to thank more insurance services. 828-389-4000. We appreciate them bringing the show. We'll be right back. Loading the kids in the car. Brokering peace in the back seat. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. Now you can find Mounted Insurance in Blue Ridge, a division of more insurance on 515 between the UCB and the Burger King. Call Jeremy Payne at 706-632-2274 for a fast and accurate quote. Our mountain roads are busier than ever, which has led to more accidents. Unfortunately, insurance companies are not in the business of being fair. They're in the business of making money. I'm Daniel Duello, and I know because I used to train insurance adjusters on exactly how to do this. Now the Duello Law Firm in North Georgia works to ensure that you're treated fairly. For a free consultation, find us at duellolaw.com. That's D-U-E-L-L-O law.com. You lay on it. You jump off it. You set sail from it. Your dock makes you happy. And Shores and More in Blairsville wants to make sure it brings you happiness for years. Search Shores and More on the internet to learn about new aluminum construction, boat lifts, jet ski ports, and more. Shores and More makes dock owning even better on Motley, Chattoog, and Blue Ridge. Yes, docks improve value, but they're also a ton of fun. So let's get started with Shores and More on the Murphy Highway. Constantly challenging ourselves as a college means more learning opportunities, better teaching, more innovative programs, greener facilities, a stronger community, and happier students. Every choice we've made reinforces our mission to help educate, inspire, and empower you. Young Harris College, this is the place where your future unfolds. The easiest way to turn your day into a win is with the two sizzling beef patties and two melty American cheese slices of the double cheeseburger. With a mix and match deal at McDonald's, I can pair my delicious double cheeseburger with a six-piece chicken McNuggets or small fries. Choose two for just $3.89. I can even add a medium frozen Coke for just $1.99. For me, it's a double cheese for the dub. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Coca-Cola is a registered trademark of the Coca-Cola company. Those pesky mosquitoes bothering you again? Well, let the experts at American Pest Control help. Their no Skeeto program can help protect you and allow you to enjoy your yard again. Call American Pest Control and take back your yard this spring. In fact, trust the experts at American Pest Control to provide you with excellent pest management all year long. Call to schedule your free inspection and protect your biggest investment, your home. That's American Pest Control, 706-782-4113. The Morning Dish. You can't blame Stephen Phillips for your business insurance going up 25% this year, but you can still do something about it. Business owners, you need to talk business with more insurance services, your mountain insurance agency in Hayesville, Blairsville, and Hiawassee. All righty, we're back with you. I'm going to end up on a meme somewhere. Packy stole somebody's camera out of the car. He's in here taking pictures of everybody. Smile, look this way, look that way. Just relax. <laughs> it's like a collection. kid in a candy store. All right, across the teletype machine, I got some information we need to know here. Good morning, GOP Forum tonight at 6 p.m. at the Towns County High School. Auditorium, Sheriff Candidates, and Clerk of Court Candidates will be there tonight. Also across the teletype machine, uh, is the forum going to be streamed tonight? They have a revival and would like to watch it later, so they're going to go to the revival instead of uh, to the forum, so they're wanting to watch the uh We'll want to watch the forum later after they get out of uh, church. So is that going to be live streamed? Is that going to be live streamed? Can somebody please tell me that? And uh, then I got another one. We'll do. I don't know what that is all about, but anyway, we'll do. So does anybody know if it's going to be live streamed? That's tonight. So that'll be a lot of fun. That's going to be up the uh, auditorium at the high school. Did they live stream the one in Blairsville? 
Um, there, yeah, there was a video of it, I believe. Right. Yes. Yes, there was. So if somebody can tell us that, is the forum tonight going to be live streamed? we got everybody got going to church. So. Of course, even when they do those things, there's controversy with them. Somebody was claiming that uh, in the uh, Union County one, uh, some of the candidates had the uh, questions in advance. Uh-oh. Yeah. Really? And and who said that? Some... Who said that the qu- they yeah. the questions were? I'm just curious. I don't remember don't. who it was. Somebody on social media also said that uh, Brian Pritchard was uh, uh, biased. What do you no. mean biased? Everyone's biased, though, man. Come yeah. on, yeah. everyone's. Man, that's your man, Brian Pritchard. That's your guy, right? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my guy. Yeah. Birds of a feather flock together. So anyway. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I haven't, although I, I don't really relate because I've, I've never voted illegally. Oh, you're you're in South Carolina and you're voting in Blairsville, Georgia this election. <laughs> now you tell me that's right. I am not voting in the. Don't uh, back up now. Even don't, yet. Okay. You sound just like Biden. Oh, I didn't say that. What I said was, and we got him on recording. <laughs> What I said was, <laughs> we'll teach Donald Trump a, a valuable lesson. Don't mess with him in America unless you want to get the benefit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's did you say behind. that you were going to vote in the election in Blairsville? Yes. And did you say there was going to be a Hooters in Union County? Hey, no. Whoa. No, no, That's no, no. Coming, how, about, how about the NASCAR track in Towns County? It wasn't a dirt track, and it fell through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the dirt track well, fell through. My my voting fell through. Hey, we're still working on this. See, the he's backing right? up on this. He's backing up on this. Hey, I reckon no fatter man, no fatter man, crazy fatter man that we think so crazy. I think his stroke has helped him because he's he's against Biden now, man. He's all about Israel. He's got more sense than anybody, dude. He does. He's he, like he really around. does. Like <laughs> I actually like him now. <laughs> oh, fatter hey, man. Wait a minute. He's against Biden on Israel, but he's. He loves everything else that Biden has done. Yeah. Well, we got to give no, him a little credit. No, he's, he's not. not he's all he's, yet. No, the border, man, He's a, he's got some pretty harsh things to say about the border conditions. Right? And I think our Speaker of the House is in a little bit of trouble over all this money he's wanting to send to Ukraine and all that. Why? He went down and got the uh, papal blessing over the weekend. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You know, they actually had a, they had a bill set up and ready to go to fund Israel. And that's yeah. still just sitting in the wings waiting, and it's funded because they were going to take money from someplace else and cut budgets and this, that, and the other. But the Biden administrations, they don't want to do that. And this Iran attack on Israel, all expected to rise. So our fuel bill is going up again. That ought to help us out. What do you think? More money at the pump. I don't understand, like, where the, all this money is coming from. Like, we don't have any money, do we? Yeah, we borrowed it from China. Is it, how, how many trillions, Pat? How many, I, I, you have to teach me something, man. How many trillions are we in debt until we don't have any money? I don't know. Like, is right there, like, now, a certain trillion? Is it, like, 41 trillion? And then, like, oh, I don't know money what now. it is. I don't know what it is. It's the, the number that I hear is 37 million, 34 million now, 34 trillion. Is what the national debt is. See, we could get Biden, we could get to Trump and and uh, Elon Musk. They could pay it off, and still have money left over. Let's tax them. Let's tax the rich. Let's tax them all. What do you think? Over a billion, yeah, three hundred million, I think trillion, we already do dollars. that. I didn't hear that that time. I think we already do that taxing the rich. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The I top, knew. I the knew. Top twenty percent wage earners pay sixty seven percent of the taxes. Well, the, the top ten pays like ninety percent, doesn't it? If you yeah. keep narrowing it down, doesn't it keep going? No. Or somehow, I thought the top ten per- paid like eighty something percent of all the taxes somehow. No, no, not if the top twenty only pays sixty seven percent. I still I ain't got no right. response here from anybody out there that if the uh, if the GOP forum tonight is going to be live streamed, if it's not, y'all need to get somebody up there with a camera or a phone and live stream it on. I guess on the GOP Facebook page, I could do that, couldn't they? It's pretty simple. Yeah. This says the top ten percent of earners bore responsibility for seventy six percent of all income taxes paid. It's wrong. Wrong. Oh, it's wrong. Wrong. <laughs> right. use, Go to use, CNN. Use one of those. 
You're using one of those underground sources again. I was yeah. using taxfoundation.org. I don't know. Hey, here's something to just come up. Video shows Chicago activists cheers after learning Iran launch attack on Israel. So Chicago activists, they were cheering after learning Iran launched attack on Israel. So see right there you go, Pat. Load them in one of them shipping containers, put them on the shipping container, and ship them out of there. See right there's a bunch of them we get rid of. How about how about the First Amendment, Stephen? Well, that's the first th- first thing I do. On the, what's the First Amendment? <laughs> Free speech. Yeah, but they, uh, man, somewhere you got to draw a line, man. When you talk about killing Americans, okay, the pro Palestine people. There is a people, place. There is a place where you draw the line. Yeah, it's called hell that and is, heaven. You can't, yeah. can't <laughs> shout fire in a in a crowded theater. Why can you okay. not do that? That's freedom of speech. No, that's not. That's where the line is. Is you saying death to America not inciting think, a riot? Uh, yeah. Huh? Is saying death to America not inciting a riot in some ways? No, you got you guys just said it like five times in the show so far. Oh, no, here, hang on. I got the example of inciting a riot. Ready? I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. That's inciting a riot, dude. Hey, listen. Earlier in the day at the same event, you could hear people chanting death to America and death to Israel. Okay. Load them up. They should be gone. Load them up. Ship them out of here. <laughs> Ship them to Iran. That's where they want to be. Ship them over there. Let them roll, tater chip. How many people agree with me? Hold your hand up. Okay, it's just me. Nobody nobody (laughs) raised their hand. Pudding did. Pudding raised his hand. (laughs) Yeah, well, the pudding, the person that you castigate regularly for not figuring out what button to push, right? Uh, Last I heard across the television machine, they would not be live streamed, but will be recorded and available for coming days. Oh, come on, live stream it. You castigated pudding? What? Did that hurt? <laughs> what <are you> that's <laughs> what Pat said. <laughs> no, no. That's... I'm a married man, son. We're misinterpreted. <laughs> that's that's what weirdo. <laughs> Who we got, pudding? Uh, we got Carter. Carter. Good morning, Carter. Good morning. How y'all doing? Good, good, good. No cussing. I don't know if we've talked to you on radio yet or not, have we? No, we have not. Well, I'm glad you called in. Whose side are you on anyway? I'm on your side. I'm with you. Load them up, ship them out of here. I think that's what we're talking about. Well, we... yeah, load them up and ship them out of here. But uh, isn't there, wasn't there a thing back in the uh, earlier times in America where you had to go through a process to be an American? You had to take tests and you had to be, um, what do you call it, for a take in front of a judge and you had to be able to speak so much English and you had to be able to uh, tell about the Constitution and all that. I think there's something like that you have to go through when you want to become American from a citizen. I don't know what they call it. What is that word? Naturalization. Yeah, naturalization. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So if that's so, yeah. then why don't any of these other people have to do it? Because France gave us a statue, dude. What They just gave us a statue, Liberty, and then like, okay, now. It's okay now. It, everything's okay now. Yeah. That's yeah. Everything's okay now. Uh, yeah. And, I see. And the only problem with that thing you're talking about, I don't know if I could pass it or not. I can't even hardly speak English at all. How much? How much? What What other people are you talking about? The illegal aliens? The immigrants and the illegal aliens. The illegal aliens. Yeah, well, that's why they don't have to go through it, because they're here illegally. Well, maybe if we put that wall up and keep them from coming in, we wouldn't have that problem. Ah, Pat, what do you think? There's a good idea. I like that. If only there was a candidate running on the concept of building a wall, <laughs> well, keeping <laughs> bad people out of here. You wouldn't vote That's for that right. person, would we you, Pat? I would not. You no. would not, see? See, Pat. Oh, man. But he's going to vote in Blairs will come in elections. What are you doing today, Carter? I'm driving a concrete truck for SCM. Oh, there you go. I like that Carter. You know, I love that... What was that Mel Gibson where he had payback? His name was Carter, I think, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah, that's a cool movie, Payback is Carter. So, all right, man, we appreciate you calling in, brother. We're going to jump on a break and see if we can give something away. Thank you, much. All right, have you take one. care. What are we going to give away, Pack? What do we have to give away? How about some S&S smoothies? You can go over there and get you some healthy supplements yeah. or CBD. Oh, what's him? CBD? That's cutting into or your vitamins. pocketbook a little bit there, ain't it? Well, Shut up, man. <laughs> 
More insurance. Sir. Are you going to get us a question? You gonna, what kind of question are you going to get us, Pat? I got a question. Friday was Tiny Tim's birthday. Tiny Tim? So we're gonna we got a we got a Tiny Tim trivia question. He's the one that said tip the do the two. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. You know, he's like the only guy that ever got married on the Tonight Show. Yeah. Yeah, he did that, didn't he? Is he dead yes, now? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I don't see you know, he could really be big now because most of the singers we got is terrible. Terrible. He'd fit right in there. <laughs> So, anyway, more insurance services, 828-3894000. We appreciate them. they got five locations. They can save you money, so give them a call. Loading the kids in the car. Brokering peace in the back seat. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple, so you can worry about more important things, like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. Now you can find Mounted Insurance in Blue Ridge, a division of more insurance on 515 between the UCB and the Burger King. Call Jeremy Payne at 706-632-2274 for a fast and accurate quote. When Cecil Nelson started Nelson Tractor in 1949, he knew that staying true to your word and putting the customer first is what mattered. It's a tradition that still exists today. It's the reason we carry Kubota construction and agricultural equipment. Kubota shares that passion and commitment. Kubota's high levels of performance and reliability have served our customers for decades. Nelson Tractor, experience the difference. Appliances, mattresses, televisions, all in one easy to shop experience. If you haven't been to Harvey Jackson in Blairsville, then you aren't saving the money you should be saving on washers, dryers, fridges, dishwashers, and more. Name brand mattresses like Tempur-Pedic, Stearns and Foster, Sealy, and Carrington Chase. Harvey Jackson on Highway 76 also handles appliance parts and can repair and install your new purchase. Buy it now, get it home quickly with Harvey Jackson. Quality and service with every purchase at Harvey Jackson in Blairsville. Hey folks, this is Dr. Andre Scheffler. Have you heard the news? Hillcrest Clinic and Imaging has moved. Come visit us at our new facility at 401 Pat Harrelson Drive. Not feeling well? Come see one of our providers at the walk-in clinic. Has your doctor ordered an MRI, CT, ultrasound, or x-ray? Visit our certified radiology center for excellent images at one-third the price of our competitors. You will receive the same high-quality care as before, this time with a flat, easy-to-access parking lot. Come on by. You'll be glad you did. Improving our patients' dental health one smile at a time. Dr. Jared Houston, Dr. Courtney Marshall, and Dr. Tom Mims and the staff at Valley River Dental live by that principle every day. Get expert care within a broad range of services from preventive dentistry and periodontal treatments to dental implants and orthodontics. Or maybe it's just about perfecting a beautiful smile. So if you're looking for a new dentist, consider Valley River Dental Dentistry in Murphy on Bill Hughes Avenue in Murphy. For 38 years, Logan Turnpike Mill in Blairsville has been crafting delicious stone ground mixes and flowers, all hand-packaged with care. It's no wonder why people across all 50 states, including past U.S. presidents, continue to choose our flowers, pancake mixes, fry mixes, cornbread mixes, grits, and porridges. Our locally grown stone ground bleach-free products offer unbeatable taste and nutrition. Logan Turnpike Mill, next to the hole in the wall in Blairsville, and at loganturnpikemill.com. Discover our mixes, jellies, local sorghum and honey, and more today. The Morning Dish! Unlike the telephone company, you've got choices in the mountains for auto insurance. And when you deal with an independent agent, you've got even more. And choices mean savings. Speak with a local neighbor at More Insurance Services. All righty, we're back with you. Hope everybody's doing good. And we're what are we giving away again? We've got a gift certificate for S and S smoothies. It's worth fifteen bucks, and you can go over there and get you a smoothie or some vitamins, protein supplements, CBD, and more. Right next to the uh, tin roof, their little sister store there, and across from Lucky's in the Merchants Walk Plaza. What a great place to hang it out. Is. What's the question, Pat? Question is, what was Tiny Tim's real name? What was Tiny Tim's real name? What's the Tiny Tim hang up, man? What's going on here? Tiny you going, Tim. You going through a phase, man? Yeah, I guess we are. We're tiptoeing through the tulips or something. <laughs> I'm not sure. good. I'm just glad he got off of Pee Wee Herman. He about to run us crazy with that Pee Wee Herman stuff. That was me, dude. Wasn't that oh, the was that same you? Guy? <laughs> me. Yeah. 706-379-9770. We uh, got a $15 gear certificate waiting for you here. If you can tell us who T- Tiny Tim's real name was, 706-379-9770. And we talked about the Baltimore Bridge collapse the other day, and Pat made fun of me and uh, Gary Chapman and everybody else because we thought it was espionage. We thought it was – yeah, we thought it was uh, – 
yeah, with attack on America. I reckon the FBI has opened a criminal probe. I don't know what that is. What is a criminal probe? What is a criminal probe? They're investigating it. Oh, are they really? Why would they be doing that when it's just an accident, Pat? For potential criminal charges. Oh, center on the crew. Yeah, I How bet they are. dereliction of duty on the ship? I don't know. The ship just went dead. Remember that? It just died. The, everything went dead. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That guy from Ukraine was up there driving the ship. But we got the FBI. You can trust them. Yeah. <laughs> well, the FBI has also opened a criminal probe on that uh, uh, door plug that blew out on the uh, Alaska Airline flight. Yeah, hey, something to do with that plane. Every time you turn around, they, that same plane's got motors falling off of it, doors coming off of it, wings flying off of it. I don't think I'd. If you go to the airport, make sure you don't. Well, which, which plane is that? 737. Yeah, I think I'd be saying, is this a 737 or? <laughs> I don't want to, let me off. Let me off. <laughs> well, it'd, be, it'd be no different than your cars. Yeah, but at least my cars quit. It'd, I don't fall 30,000 feet. There. <laughs> you know, the doors fly off my car. I keep driving. You know, them planes, they just suck right to the ground. Woo. But, you know, that goes. Yeah, I don't know. That uh, Okay, we got nobody calling. What's Tiny Tim's real name? Give us a call. 706-379-9770. Y'all can go to SNS Smoothie or the Tin Roof where you can have a smoothie, which is uh, healthy for you, or you can have a uh, uh, ice cream, which is more healthy for you. And the phone bleeped, so I don't know what that means. Pudding, do you have the thing hook up, uh, hung up? <laughs> no. got, he's got the phone just, up, Pudding. Do not disturb. It is, Turn it down. is hung up. <laughs> <laughs> Moron. Is it on? <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, all right. Let's see here. We still don't have – There's not planning on uh, streaming the, the Facebook thing, but Marvin Cooper, if y'all will follow him on Facebook, he's going to live stream. Marvin, you going to live stream this on your YouTube channel or something? I don't know. Maybe you can tell us that. Somebody needs to live stream this. Everybody up there or just live stream it. We can have, like, different views. Why don't there. why don't people just go? Well, they're going to they got a revival, I reckon. They need to go to revival. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wouldn't you think? Do you ever go to revival, Pat? I I don't think I've ever been to a revival. Well, you need to be in a revival. I do? Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. Definitely need to be will in a you, revival. Will you let me know the next revival? We got coming one coming up to our church here in a couple of weeks. So I'll come get you. Oh boy! Yeah, we lay hands on you and fist. Mm. I mean, not fist, but yeah. I was gonna say you lay hands on me. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. that's why I do this show remotely. Yeah, uh, I'm with you on that. So but. If I was there in the studio. It'd be nasty. Yeah. We ain't got no comments much because Packy didn't start. Okay, there's a phone. There's a phone. Bob M says Happy Tax Day, and uh, I paid mine. And good Catholic Christian boy won. What is he talking about? I don't know. He's, knew. Maybe he's talking about, he's talking the, about Joey B. Hey, we talked to him the other day on the phone. He's not Harry. I thought he was Harry. Oh, but Joey not. B. It's not Harry. Bob M. Who is Bob M.? He's Pat's fan. It, it's, <laughs> yeah. He's the Democrat he's, that listens to our show. He, he's the one who likes Pat. Oh. He's he's a Republican pragmatist. We need is that get, what he is? Hey, we're That's having a revival exactly at our church, is. Bob M. We'd like to have you there, man. I told you men could get pregnant. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> hey, we got somebody, Pudding? We do. We have Sherry this morning. Hey, Sherry, what's going on? I was just sitting here babysitting. Oh, that's a tough job, tough job. Hey, tell us what yeah. Tiny Tim's we name hurry. was. We're almost out of time. Uh, Herbert View Trost Harry. Oh, you have. That is correct. All right, we got it up here at the station for you. Come by and pick it up. Yeah, we're fixed to get off the music's playing. We appreciate you calling in, girl. I'm sorry I have to call you all Call first thing in the morning. We'll talk some more. And if they live stream that, it'll be on the GOP uh, website on Facebook. If they do that across that, it might be on the Towns County GOP page. So I don't know. But that's tonight at 6 o'clock up at Towns County. If y'all go check that out. And we'll be back bright and early in the morning. W249DB and WJULAM, Hiawassee. Well, look at here. Guess who's number one in the Nielsen ratings again?